Imagine being the most dominant species on the planet, roaming in a vast world teeming with life and plenty of resources. And then suddenly, in a blink of an eye, it all comes to an end. This is a fate that befell the dinosaurs that ruled our planet before the dawn of man. But how did a world teeming with life transform overnight? Let's journey back a few million years to witness the aftermath of the most devastating cosmic impact in the history of our planet and what lessons we can learn from the horrific event. Let's find out. Before humans, dinosaurs were the dominant creatures on Earth for millions of years. However, their rule came to a sudden end about 66 million years ago when a catastrophic asteroid impact led to the extinction of most life forms, including the dinosaurs. This event marked the conclusion of a 180 million year era of dominance. For scientists, one of the most fascinating areas of research is understanding Earth's conditions after the dinosaurs became extinct. In 1980, a team of physicists and geologists who were later honored with a Nobel Prize proposed a theory suggesting that a layer of clay rich in iridium found in the Earth's crust was caused by a massive asteroid colliding with our planet. This impact led to instant devastation in the vicinity and widespread effects, ultimately resulting in the abrupt disappearance of dinosaurs. Asteroids are large, rocky bodies orbiting the Sun, varying in size from small meters wide pieces to enormous structures hundreds of meters in diameter. Fragments of these asteroids surviving Earth's atmosphere and reaching the surface are called meteorites. Initially met with controversy, this asteroid impact hypothesis is now widely accepted as the cause of mass extinctions at the end of the Mesozoic era. The theory is well supported by evidence, including the identification of the impact crater, which is mostly buried on the seafloor off the coast of modern-day Mexico. This crater, known as the Chicxulub Crater, is centered on the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. Studies have confirmed its age, aligning with the extinction of non-bird dinosaurs recorded in rock layers worldwide. The asteroid that hit Earth is believed to have been approximately nine miles wide, and the impact created a colossal crater about 93 miles in diameter, making it the second largest crater on our planet. The high velocity of the collision threw immense amounts of debris into the air and triggered massive tidal waves that swept over parts of the American continent. Additionally, there is evidence suggesting widespread fires occurred during this period in history. For a long time, scientists believed that non-beer dinosaurs became extinct around 65 million years ago. However, precise dating of clay layers found globally has refined our understanding. Recent research indicates that these dinosaurs likely died out within a couple of thousand years, with the extinction event occurring around 66 million years ago. About 75% of all life on Earth, including the majestic dinosaurs, suddenly disappeared during the same period. It's an intriguing question to consider if the asteroid impact was the sole cause of these mass extinctions. When the asteroid hit at high speed, it vaporized and created a massive crater, causing devastation in the immediate area. Following the impact, a huge blast wave and heat wave spread out, throwing substantial amounts of material into the atmosphere. This material included soot, which traveled worldwide. While it didn't completely block out the sun, it reduced the amount of light reaching the Earth's surface. This reduction in sunlight had a significant impact on plant growth, setting off a chain reaction in the food chain and leading to ecosystem collapse. The scarcity of plants especially affected herbivores, making it difficult for them to survive. Consequently, carnivores also suffered due to the limited availability of food. 
Important factors for a balanced ecosystem, such as breeding seasons, must have been shorter and conditions much harsher. These shortages affected all living things, both on land and in the oceans. Even today, scientists continue to debate the true cause of the mass extinctions and how long that period lasted, as many uncertainties remain that require further investigation. What scientists are certain about is that it was an enormous event that impacted all life on Earth, from microorganisms to dinosaurs. The casualties were extensive, including ammonites, microscopic plankton, and large marine reptiles. However, these losses, tragic as they were, reshaped the course of history and paved the way for the emergence of the modern world. The asteroid is not the only thing to blame for these history-altering events. Before the crash, Earth was already experiencing a period of climate change, making things substantially harder on the planet. There was a massive volcanic activity in what is now central India. And although it was unrelated to the asteroid impact, it was causing significant problems on its own. The resulting outcrop of lava is known as the Deccan Traps today. It is estimated that for around two million years, there was a huge amount of volcanic activity taking place all over the planet, which was responsible for spewing gas into the atmosphere and having a major impact on the global climate at the time. There were also certain long-term changes, such as the drifting of the continents, causing them to split apart from each other. This created bigger oceans, further changing atmosphere patterns around the world and having a strong effect on vegetation and climate. The last non-bird dinosaurs were living at a time of extreme environmental change, which began millions of years before they went completely extinct. The asteroid was just the final blow that would kill off anything that was left standing. High spaces, you wouldn't want to remain in the dark if another killer asteroid was headed to Earth, right? So hurry up and subscribe and hit that bell icon so we can keep you updated on everything new in the world of space. And now, back to the dinosaurs. During the Cretaceous extinction event, plants were less affected compared to animals because their seeds and pollen could withstand harsh conditions for longer periods. After the extinction of dinosaurs, flowering plants became dominant, a process that started during the Cretaceous age and continues today. However, all land animals weighing over 55 pounds perished. What we see today are the descendants of what managed to survive that catastrophic event. Many major animal groups present on Earth today were already in existence before the asteroid impact, and they all experienced varying levels of extinction. Fortunately, the evolutionary lines leading to modern animals persisted. While all non-bird dinosaurs perished, most birds managed to survive. Although some bird species also went extinct, enough survived to evolve into the diverse range of modern birds we see today. After the extinction of dinosaurs, certain lineages of large birds, both herbivores and predators, did not survive for long. The disappearance of non-bird dinosaurs occurred around 15 million years ago, during the Oligocene epoch. This period saw the emergence of large mammals comparable in size to rhinos. However, the world was primarily populated by smaller animals after the extinction event, and it took time for animals to regain larger body sizes. Dinosaurs remain the largest land animals to have ever lived, with whales being the only animals that surpass their size. Recent studies indicate that plants and animals recovered after the impact, much faster than initially believed. Most fossil sites show some gaps after the impact, but sediment continued to accumulate almost continuously for one million years on floodplains. These sites provide a comprehensive record of ancient life and the environment, enabling in-depth studies about Earth's post-dinosaur era. These records confirm the massive devastation caused by the impact. Before the catastrophe, 
The site was teeming with mammal species no larger than raccoons. However, a thousand years after the impact, only a few small furry creatures, no bigger than rats, roamed the planet. Around 100,000 years later, the number of mammal species doubled and they returned to their pre-impact sizes. These animals foraged in abundant palm forests as the world slowly recovered from the devastation. Over the next 200,000 years, new mammal species evolved to exploit nutritious, walnut-like plants that were widespread. This further increased mammal diversity, with the largest of these new species reaching the size of around 55 pounds. About 700,000 years after the impact, legumes appeared, marking the beginning of the protein bar period. This term reflects the abundance of protein-rich foods available, which significantly boosted mammal size and diversity. For the first time, mammals grew larger than 100 pounds. This cycle of recovery persisted over millions of years, shaping the modern world and the diversity of life we observe today. The Earth is a resilient planet. It didn't take long for the ecosystem to heal and life to thrive once more after the cataclysmic event. However, they say that history always repeats itself. We don't know when, but there may once again come a time when the Earth is in the crosshairs of a giant asteroid. Thankfully, efforts are being made to prepare for such a possibility, with one example being NASA's DART mission. So, spacers, do you think humanity would survive if a similar size impact happened today? Or will we have adequate planetary defense by then? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for spacing out with us and see you next video.